Hi everyone, it's me Brittany and I'm back with another video. This one is going to be a what I got my husband for Christmas video. And before we get started, just because if you do view this video, you're definitely watching it after Christmas. So just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I hope you enjoyed your hol holiday season thus far. And yeah, so I guess let's get started. Alright, the reason why I'm doing this, like posting it after Christmas, is because my husband, he's subscribed to my channel, he comments a lot in the, he has commented in the past videos that I put up, I don't know, I'll only put up three, so, but he's definitely commented on each and every one of them, and he did ask me to wait to post this until after Christmas, so I'm posting it on Christmas Eve. He's already gone to sleep, and so I thought that's just as good. I mean, it's practically Christmas. So, I don't know, just to, like, respect his wishes. He doesn't want to get tempted by watching the video and seeing what he got for Christmas. I don't know. Me, I would have a little more self-control, but I guess, you know, the channel has good self-control by itself. Anyways... This is um, what I got for him. Some of these things, like, there's two things that I've already wrapped and won't be in, shown in the video. I s still haven't gotten the hang of adding a, a picture and afterwards. I'm not really sure. I am doing this on my phone, so I'm not really sure how to do it. And uh, fortunately, my, unfortunately, my computer is packed away at the moment, so I can't upload it to my computer and then do it that way. I could probably try to figure out how to do it on my iPad. I just haven't tried yet. I don't know. So, we'll see. I'm not gonna, I'll try to see if I could insert a clip of the things that I wrapped already, but I don't have, I don't think it'll probably happen. So the things that I wrapped already, I got probably in October. I had already been planning on getting it for him for Christmas for a while. I just like waited until there was a reason to get it. I don't know. I, it's a Lego set. So Lego does gift, gift with purchases all the time. So I waited until there was a good one before I got the set. The set is the... Um, Lunar Lander and the gift with purchase that I got with it was the Galileo set. So I got wrapped those two up already. I couldn't figure out a hiding place at the time, so that's why I wrapped it. And then like after a few days later, I would say a couple weeks later, I figured out a good spot to where he would look. But I had already wrapped the gifts, and this was well before I even decided to start doing these videos, so they just didn't make it into the video. But I also got him this, which is a Back to the Future popping tee. So I bought this in the beginning of the year, like, oh, I want to say around April? Or something like that yeah I like I buy a lot of Funko Pops and I he loves back to the future he loves the movies so I saw this and I decided to to get it and save it for him for Christmas is that and I also got him mainly I did that because I was planning on getting him this set for Christmas. It's the Back to the Future Lego set. And I usually get my big sets off Lego, but my son is like looking at me right now, so I'm a little distracted. But I decided Target was uh, doing, um, I don't know, Target had this off for like, ew, not a lot. Wait, actually, yes a lot. Okay, so this is normally $200 on Lego. 
but Target was selling it for I think one sixty nine ninety nine, and then Target was also on top of that had like six percent sale going on for this. I think it was six percent. It could have been a little bit more, but then it dropped down to like um, one fifty six or something like that. And then I had a ten dollar off um, gift card, so. I also use that for this and that's the reason why I didn't get it off Lego because I mean I saved like what $55 so that was reason enough for me I mean yeah that's that because I mean I usually get it off Lego just to get the points but if I'm gonna be saving more in money than I am gonna get be getting in points back then I'd rather just get it elsewhere. I also got him this Funko Pop. It's the Princess Bride. Now he has this guy. I got it for him in me in Mingo. Oh god. Don't make fun of me. I can't <laughs> Montoya, that guy, and so um, I got that for him last year, or for Father's Day, I don't know if I got it for him for last Christmas or Father's Day, but one of the two, and then I got him the this one, which is the regular version, at the same time as I got this version, and I got it off Chalice Collectibles, it's um, if you're into Funko Pops, it's a good place to get, like, uh, rare ones, I would say. Um, it's a good place to get chases, chase bundles, which is what this is. Chase bundles is, um, some, it's like, you get the common plus the chase, and instead of trying to order a lot in the hope of getting this one different figure it just comes in like a package all right so if you don't know what a chase is every now and then funko will make a funko pop and they will make a common a regular version like that and then you have a chance to get a different variation like this and it's called a chase so you could buy one and happen to get a chase, or you could buy seven and get no chases. So it's all random. Usually, every one in six um, pops that are made of this of this common will be a chase. And so, this is an old pop. So I just, they were off, on Chalice Collectibles, they were offering a chase bundle. So I've got the common plus this chase. I think it was $45, which is pretty good. That means the chase was, this chase is normally runs about $30 and the common is, or maybe the chase could be more. The chase could be $40 and the common could be 10 Who knows? But the whole thing cost me $45. And he loves Princess and the Bride. And I gave him the common, that one, for his birthday in October. And now for Christmas, I'm giving him the chase. Hopefully that I explain how Funko Pops, the chase works a little bit. In case you ever, if you have kids or other adults who love uh, Funko Pops and you don't know much about it, there's a little something. I'm gonna share what I got for his stocking later, like after I do all this stuff. I got him this. Uh, NFL jersey. So, it's just his favorite number, 24, and then on the back, it's a custom jersey, so it's just his name, his last name, and um, 
I got this. So normally these are on the NFL shop. These are um, $169, but I think it was on sale, 30% off. So I got it for, oof, I want to say on 130 Anyways, um, when I bought this, I thought it would be, like, cool, I don't know, maybe I'm the only one who thinks this, but I was like, oh man, wouldn't it be cooler to have a jersey with your own name on it rather than somebody else's name, you know? Apparently that's wrong, because after I bought it, maybe like 30 minutes after I bought it, I asked, like, my coworkers, and then I asked family members, and I was like, would you rather have a jersey with your name on it or a certain player and they all said a player for sure that they they'd be happy if they got one for them with their name on it but they were for sure prefer one with a player's name and so I was like crap because he had been asking for um, a specific player and he's a Packers fan so I went and this took a couple weeks to get like because his size just kept being out of stock. And so finally I clicked on and they said they had one left. Usually when I do that, it says it's one left. I get another notification that says, oh, actually this item is out of stock. But this time, this time it didn't happen. And I actually got his size because I really wanted a different color. So I got the white one. This is the white Packers jersey. And I don't know if people could tell by the... Um, number but it's a Jordan I think his name is Jordan I don't know don't quote me but I think it's his name is Jordan Love he's a quarterback for the Packers and his favorite Packers player was um well I guess still is but the guy is no longer with the Packers so he likes um Aaron Rodgers but Aaron Rodgers is no longer with Packers, so he wanted a new uh, Packers quarterback jersey, so I got him the Jordan Love one. He was going back and forth between two players, but I couldn't remember the other player's name, so I just went with the player that I remembered, and I got that jersey. I also got... I got other stuff from the NFL shop, but they're stocking stuffers, so I'll do that in a minute. I don't know. I got one, two things left to show, so. I got, he's really into comics, just like I collect Funko Pops and Legos. He collects, I know it's not Legos, because Lego people don't come after me. I, I get it, it's Lego, but I always say Legos. Don't come after me. But. He collects comics, and I hope that I didn't get ones that he already has. This is always hard for me and him, because for my birthday and Christmas, he buys me um, Lego sets, and I buy comics, or I try to, but I'm always afraid of getting something that he already has. He has so many comics, like way more comics than I do. Lego sets. Oh, well, of course, the Lego sets are way more pricier, but some comics can be pricey, too, okay? These I paid, like, $80 for, and I only got four comics, so... Or, I got five. Six... Four of them cost $60, and one comic cost $20. So... Yeah, I'm hoping that I didn't get him something that he already has. These are the comics that I got for him. I'm afraid that I'm afraid that I did get him one that he already has. I think or I don't know. I don't know if my mind is playing tricks on me like maybe he showed me on his phone. And that's where I'm remembering it from. Or, but I looked through his entire collection, like skimmed it, and I didn't see any of these. So hopefully he doesn't have them. And when he did show me, it was on his phone and not actually in his hand. But here's one. This is a, a variant. It's um, Comic 
books also have variants, but this is uh, Star Wars Visions. He's a huge Star Wars fan, and this is the expensive one. So this cover, because it's, I don't know, I forgot what it's called, but Naked? Naked cover. Right, because it doesn't have any words. It's just the cover art. And I got him all comics by his favorite um, artist, which is Peach Momoko. And so, yeah, this is one of them. And this is the regular version, the more common version. It's the same comic. They were running a bundle. So this alone, this one alone cost $30. But in the bundle that I got, it's $60. It was a $60 bundle. So basically this one was free. You're like only paying the price of the other one. And I also got this one. Now, this is the one that I'm thinking he already has. Like, I think I remember him showing me something like this. But I can't, I don't know if it was through his phone. I don't know. I guess, I guess we'll find out Christmas, right? I mean, my son is going to join me. Oh, he's moving the camera. Stop. This is Leo. Say hi, Leo. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. But we're not going to touch. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Say hi. Anyways. Anyways, this is the naked version of the previous one that I showed. And it's also a Star Wars Vision comic. And I think this is the one that he already has. Because, I don't know. I remember seeing this, but I can't remember if he was showing me on his phone because he shows me comics on his phone a lot. So I can't remember if I saw it on his phone or if he showed me after purchasing it. But that is also $30, and that's why the bundle was $60. So basically, you got the regular prints for free. And these two variants, they're the ones that cost $30 each. So it's a $60 bundle. Oh my gosh. Hi. Yeah, just say hi. Now, the last one that I got for him is this. This one. Big one on it. I'm pretty sure this one, I don't know, because it's a naked cover, I'm pretty sure this one was X-Men Immortals. And I know he has a lot of X-Men covers. This one is also a variant, and this one costs twenty dollars. No, no. Okay, pause. Hey, hey, hey. To watch. Yeah, just let's just watch. But you can't grab it. No grabbing the camera. Right. I also the last thing I got for him is this. He wanted, for his birthday, I got him this, like, golf tip net. I don't know. That's kind of like what it is. Don't they have, like, chip chip-in clubs? So I got him, like, three chip-in clubs and a net to go with it. He likes golf, but he doesn't get a lot of time to play it because he works two jobs. So... I also got him this putting mat. And I'm not going to unravel it just because it's so big. I guess I'll do a little snippet, but I'm not going to do too much to unravel it. Because I kind of want to wrap it like that. But yeah, I'll do one quick little video. But this is like, it's a putting mat for him. And... He's trying to get down. It's a putting green. So I got for that for him. And it also comes with the, these things. And you put them underneath the green. And that is supposed to change like. It's supposed to give it. 
like make it like a little hilly. I don't know. You know how some greens they have little small hills and rocks in it. That's what it's supposed to emulate. So um, yeah, I thought that was cool. And I think I got that off Amazon. I looked at a bunch, but that's the only one that came with the little um little square pegs to like make it feel like the terrain has been changed a little bit so that i got for 75 dollars or yeah off amazon and that was the last thing so now i'll get into his uh what i got for his stocking <sighs> we're done And I got him a license plate off the NFL shop for six Packers. And I also got him Packers playing cards. He doesn't play cards. I'm the one who play card I'm the one who plays cards, but I thought this was cute. And I also got this like LED car light. So when you open your car door, this huge uh, symbol will show up on the ground and um, it'll be the Packers logo and I actually know about this because my aunt she has a Prince one for her car she's in love with Prince so she has a Prince one for her car and it's really cool when she opens up her door this huge Prince symbol shows up so when I saw that the Packers had one I decided to get it for them and I also got him this Packers ornament. He likes old timey Christmas scenes, scenes like this. So I thought it was cute and it says Packers like right there. And I got him this car air freshener. And he loves Toblerone, and usually there's this one gas station about 15-20 minutes away from me that sells Toblerones, and um, they usually have different like flavors, but this year they only had the one, and it's the white chocolate one, so I only got him that one. Usually I get him like three, and they're pretty expensive. That costs five dollars, but yeah. But I saw... I forgot what site. Walmart, I think. They were selling the assorted mini Toblerones, so I also got them that. And I am going to have to end the video there because my son is, he wants to get into these presents behind me. He wants to mess with the tree, and we just can't let that happen. But I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you guys have just a wonderful and blessed Christmas and hope your Christmas season season has been joyous and all that good stuff. Don't know where I was going with that. I can't remember. But yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas season. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jeez, we're going to have to cut that out. <laughs> oh, Lord. And thank you for watching. <laughs> Please comment, like, subscribe. I mean, you don't have to, but I mean, I would like to read your comments uh, about what you got to your husband for Christmas or boyfriend, partner, whatever. If you got them anything, what did you get? And yeah, if you're watching this, which you will be probably, if you decide to watch this, you'll probably be watching after Christmas. Just let me know if you got anything for Christmas and just how your Christmas went. But again, thank you for watching and we'll see you later. Bye.